We're asked to evaluate the sum given using sigma notation. We will first determine the sum using the summation formulas shown below, and then we'll verify the result on the TI-84. Let's begin by writing the given sum as a difference of two sums. The given sum is equal to the sum from i equals one to 30 of i cubed minus the sum from i equals one to 30 of two i squared. Let's also factor out the two from the second sum and write the given sum as the sum from i equals one to 30 of i cubed minus two times the sum from i equals one to 30 of i squared. And now looking at the formulas below, notice the sum from i equals one to n of i squared is equal to the product of n, n plus one, and two n plus one, all divided by six, and then sum from i equals one to n of i cubed is equal to the product of n squared and the square of n plus one divided by four. We will use these two formulas to determine our sum. Notice for our sums, n, the upper limit is 30. So the sum from i equals one to 30 of i cubed, again where n is equal to 30, is equal to the square of 30 times the square of 30 plus one, all divided by four. And then we have minus two times the sum from i equals one to 30 of i squared, where again n is 30, so we have the product of 30, 30 plus one, and two times 30 plus one, all divided by six. Notice here we can simplify the two and the six, or the six and the 30. Let's go ahead and simplify the six and the 30. There's one six and six, and five sixes and 30. So we have 30 squared times 31 squared divided by four minus, and then here we have two times five, that's 10 times 31 times 61. And now let's go to the calculator. We need parentheses around the numerator here, so we have open parenthesis 30 squared times 31 squared, close parenthesis divided by four, and then we have minus 10 times 31 times 61, which is equal to 197,315. Let's verify this on the T84 using the summation function. To do this, press math, arrow down to option zero for summation, which is here, press enter. We can use any variable, I'm gonna use x. The lower limit is one, right arrow, upper limit is 30, right arrow, we do need to use x in the formula, and therefore we'll enter x cubed minus two x squared. So x raised to the power of three, right arrow, minus two x squared, and enter. And we do get the same result, verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.